What's up everybody? It's Steve and I thought today we'd just do an old-fashioned comic book haul. These are some books that I've been sitting on for a while. So let's take a look and see what we got. So these are just going to be some books that I found in my uh, back issue bin at my comic shop that's uh, pretty close to me, actually from a couple of them. Most of these were a dollar, and uh, I got some 70s thematic music playing in the background for this. So up first, I think you are going to like this one. This is a low-grade copy of Wonder Woman number 205. And we got Wonder Woman strapped to a bomb. So some bondage. Looks like she's being held there by the magic lasso. And I think that's pretty safe to say. That is the Statue of Liberty. So it looks like she's going to be uh, exploding over New York. And that one I know I paid a dollar for. Next, we've got uh, Weird War Tales, number 14. Another low-grade copy, but very cool cover. And this is Vault of Horror, one of the 90s reprints. This is uh, number six. I got that. I love that, this classic cover here. I think I paid $2 for this. It was a little much because it does have this nice rip right here in the top. Up next, we've got uh, UFO Flying Saucers, and I did not put the number on here, but a very cool cover. Spaceman, alien, a dog, and uh, his owner there. And if this kid doesn't watch out, he may get abducted by the aliens and get the old up the poop shooter. Nobody wants one of these up there, let me tell you. Uh, this is Tales of the Mysterious Traveler, number 15. I think I paid two bucks for that. That is a great cover. That is from December of 80, 85, looks like. Uh, this one I found in the dollar bin. I think this one was actually 50 cents because it's so low grade. This is Swamp Thing, number 11. Somebody at one time tried to sell it for 10 cents. Still a cool book, even in low grade. This one I'd never seen in the dollar bin before, but this was uh, either 50 cents or a dollar. And this is a really nice, really nice copy. This is uh, the Mighty Isis number five. Somehow she's able to breathe in space while she's getting shot at with laser beams. Okay, so next we've got uh, Logan's Run number seven. I found a couple of these and and uh, don't have these in my run, so it's a small run to complete. I do have the one with the um, Thanos appearance in it, so that's the expensive book in that. And then Logan's Run number five. It's a cool flag cover. Logan's run number four. That looks like a scene right out of the movie. I don't remember. Yeah, it says the official adaption, but I don't remember how many of these actually go along with the story of the movie. But that one does look like a scene towards the end of the movie. Those were all either 50 cents or a dollar. I think this next one was 50 cents. Looks like it has like a subscription crease on the cover, but this is the Invincible Iron Man number 90. And then next, a cool gold key. This is Grimm's Ghost Stories. I don't know what number this is. It's probably a dollar. And then next, uh, Ghostly Tales. I know this one was two bucks. This is Ghostly Tales number 133. Looks like he might have committed suicide and he's been left alone to rot away in this old house. Somebody's about to find him finally. 
And this next one, this is a great horror cover. This is Ghostly Tales number 119 from looks like January of 76. And then another killer cover. This is, uh, I think this was a $2 issue. This is Ghostly Haunts number 40 from looks like 74, September of 74. Really cool web and spider cover on here. All right, these last books are definitely pricier. Um, I have ended up getting, I think I've got the whole run. I might be missing the annual or something, but um, I found these one day in a shop. They had all of them for like 20 bucks. And I bought one of them and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna pay $20 for all these issues. And I'm glad I didn't because a couple days later I found the rest in the shop. And I don't think I've shown all these together before, but this is the uh, whole series that I have. This is Elvira's House of Mystery number one. This first issue is the first one that I bought. That was 20 bucks. Uh, next, I've got number two, and it looks like I paid $6 for that at uh, a store that uh, my dad actually took me to when I was a little boy. That was the first comic book store I ever went to. Then next we have number three. Looks like I gave five bucks for that one. Same store. All the lower priced ones were from the same store. Uh, this is uh, Elvira's House of Mystery number four. Just playing peekaboo on the cover. This is number six, a nice black cover. This one is definitely one of my favorite of the series. This is uh, Elvira's House of Mystery number five. And it looks like I paid six bucks for that one. Great cover. They had that at that store where they had them all for 20 and I'm glad I didn't buy that one there. Uh, next, we've got number six. Looks like I paid six bucks for that one, too. And this one I ended up getting off of uh, mycomicshop.com. And I think I paid $4 for it. Between four and seven bucks. It was low grade. This is number seven. And they actually had that at the shop where they wanted 20 on all of them. But uh, I didn't grab that one. <laughs> This is another great one. This is another one of the really cool ones in the series. This is number eight. This has a uh, kind of a Statue of Liberty um, theme to it. This is uh, Elvira's House of Mystery number eight. Looks like I paid six bucks for that one. And then next we've got number nine. It's the classic Elvira on here. That one was six bucks. Seeing a, scene, a theme here, they were either six dollars or twenty. Uh, this is uh, number ten, and it looks like I got that one for six dollars as well. And then I got one more here. This is uh, another really cool cover in the series. This is number eleven, and it looks like I had to go back and pay twenty bucks for that one. Beautiful cover. All right, well, that's all I've got for now. Got a whole bunch more books to show over here and a whole bunch more stuff behind me, but uh, let me know what you think of what I got here. I, I'm sure everybody probably liked the House of Mysteries the best. Which one is your favorite out of that run? But uh, leave me a note in the uh, comments and let me know. See you later.